Dubai began to thrive on an economy based on trading, fishing and pearl diving. In this episode of Taste, we explore the flavours of this multicultural city. And who better to come on the journey with us than Michelin star chef Gary Rhodes. Hi. As a trade route, this is where, you know, they would have brought in flavours and ingredients and food from everywhere else in the world. You're absolutely right, because this was so narrow before. And, and, and now, of course, you can get in many of the, the larger boats bringing in huge quantity. It, it actually is showing that this, for marketing, was, was vital, absolutely vital at that time. Well, we are here now just opposite the Spice Souk and the Old Market, so should we go and check it out? Definitely check it out. Let's go and have a look. What would you say is the flavour that symbolises Dubai? That's a tough one, but, um, but I think, you know, if you look at one of their spices, it's, it's a mixed spice and it's called Baharad. That contains sort of four main ingredients. You've got the cinnamon, coriander, cardamom, and a little touch of nutmeg as well. That really sums up what, um, you know, every kind of spice that is used in this part of the world. I've got to say, I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't? I don't know what it See, is. See, I thought I was being I really naive. I don't know naive. what it is. Can you tell us, what are these? <laughs> this is indigo color, the jeans. Oh, for dyeing jeans. Oh, yeah, yeah. No wonder I haven't uh, used it for cooking. Nice yeah. <laughs> I'm now going to take you to a hidden gem, somewhere quite off the beaten track. OK. And we can go and have a bit of lunch. We're here at the Jumeirah Fish Market. Did you know this even existed? I've got to be honest, it was years ago I came to a fish market. It might have been here, but it was so long ago. And we'll have it taken off the bone, quickly pan fried. Mm -hmm. It's delightful to eat. Unless you want some little baby sharks and that sort of thing. Sardines yeah. I absolutely love. Again, I'll eat those all day, just you know, very, very quickly cooked. It's a, a variety, like a variety. They're calling it a mackerel. That's very different to the mackerel we get in the UK. But this, again, will probably come from local waters. And, of course, any shellfish. Yeah. You know, we've always got some form of prawn, the lobsters, crab, you know, what included on our menus. So what do you make of this experience here? Well, I think it's, a, it's been a great experience. I mean, first of all, seeing the quality of the fish that was there was fantastic. Knowing as you, you're, you're watching it being, it's landed and it's coming straight into the market. I mean, yeah. you can't ask for more than that. Well, after taking me to the fish market, I thought I'd show you exactly how I cook fish. OK, so what I thought I'd make for us is just a nice little salmon and that I'm just going to lightly pan fry, but I thought I'd serve that with a nice little risotto on the side. Right, now, the cooking of this fish. It, there's a sizzle, and I judge this. If you look here, you've got this line of it cooking, you see, but you come up to the pink. That is yep. telling me how far that is cooked at the moment. Yeah. I will know as that comes up a little bit further, it's time to turn okay. the fish. Most risottos, as you know, will contain, you know, Parmesan cheese yeah. or something like that. Um, I'm not going to be adding anything like that because I don't think that Parmesan is going to marry very well with a bisque sauce. Mm -hmm. Just baste him with this lovely sort of lemony butter and now we're ready, ready to, to dress serve. and wow. there you have it pan fried salmon with a little um coffee lemon risotto with asparagus and a little salmon bisque sauce where's the uh, cutlery <laughs> i need to try it good question <laughs> wow <laughs> it's a pleasure pleasure that's lovely